very good morning to all in this module we have to learn the concept of polymers here in this unit we have to discuss the concept of this polymers degree of polymerization difference between polymers and macromolecules classifications of polymers based on the source structure nature mode of polymerization based on intermolecular forces and what are the differences between a thermoplastic polymers and thermosetting polymers requirements of monomers types of polymerization under addition polymerization in stain growth polymerization free radical and addition polymerization ionic polymerization cationic polymerization condensation polymerization and how to distinctions between the chain growth polymerization and step growth polymerization and molecular weight determinations based on this number average molecular weight weight average molecular weight poly dispersity index cohesive energy zigonata polymerization and fiber forming polymers elastomeric polymers and summary of that polymers means many many molecules joined together to formation of a long chain or branch the chain molecules that is called what polymers the polymers are high molecular weight molecules the molecular weight is more than 10000 units that is called what polymers in that polymers are available widely in nature based on that nature based on that natural sources available that polymers molecules we consider that animals plants and all of living organisms are composed of this large size molecules that is called what polymers consider examples here starch cellulose glycogen rubber these are all available in the nature these are all called what natural polymers and some of the polymers are a man made or synthesized by using the chemicals that is called what synthetic polymers man made generally natural polymers are having a engineering properties are very less means tensile strength modulus strain stress bursting property all are very less that's why to improve the properties of this natural polymers by adding a synthetic materials or chemicals they are called what yeah semi synthetic polymers we just we go through that definitions of this polymers here polymers are high molecular weight compounds whose structures are made up of large number of simple repeating units called monomers the interlinking of many monomers units as given the polymer its name poly means many mers means units therefore the name polymers small molecules are combined to form a big molecule that is polymers it can be formed from one or more chemical compounds example we consider so many examples are there here 
यूटा डाइन मॉलिक यूटा मीन्स फोर कार्बन आठ यूटा मीन्स फोर कार्बन डाइन मीन्स एयर डबल बॉन्ड इज एयर रिप्रेजेंटेशन वॉट Buta Dayen's molecule. The degree of polymerization, the number of repeating units in a polymer is known as degree of polymerization. The number of repeating units in a polymer is known as degree of polymerization. If n is equal to low, their molecular weight is 500 to 5000 Dalton's unit. it is oligopolymer if n is equal to very high molecular weight is 10000 to 2 lakh a dalton's unit it is what high polymer the repeating units are usually obtained from low molecular weight simple compounds referred to as monomers polymerization is a reactions by which monomers are converted into polymers is known as polymerization in other words the process by which the monomers get combined or transformed into polymers is known as polymerization We consider here n monomer we are getting polymers combinations of these monomers what we are getting polymers for example here polythene what is this polythene polythene from ethyne molecule under the polymerization reactions just here double bond is shifted so the process is happened like that here ch2 double bond ch2 ch2 double bond ch2 CH2 double bond CH2 here shifting of pi bond between this carbon at to formation of a long chain molecule CH2 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 like that this is what here polymers molecule how to difference between polymers and macro molecules polymers are called macro molecules due to their large size but converse is not always true a macro molecule may or may not contain monomer units for example chlorophyll is a macro molecule because of its size it is not a polymer since there are no monomer units represent in this so it is conclude that all polymers are macro molecules while all macro molecules may not be polymers in nature what are the classifications of polymers polymers are classified based on their source of origin structure mode of polymerization molecular forces a classification of polymers based on this origin based on the source of origin polymers are classified as natural polymers synthetic polymers and semi synthetic polymers natural polymers means these polymers which occur in nature either through plants or animals are called natural polymer in other words these polymers isolated from natural materials are called natural polymers example cotton wool silk rubber these are all what natural polymers generally they are non toxic in nature what are the advantages of this natural polymer they readily and abundantly available comparatively inexpensive and non toxic product finally biodegradable 
Synthetic polymers which are prepared from low molecular weight compounds are known as synthetic polymers or man-made polymers. Example, polythene, synthetic polymers, PVC, nylon 66, Teflon, or lawn. These are all what example of these synthetic polymers. Semi-synthetic polymers means polymers obtained by making some modification in natural polymers by artificial means are known as semi-synthetic polymers. Example, cellulose acetate that is called what? Rayon, alkalized rubber. These are all the examples of these semi-synthetic polymers. Classification of polymers based on structure. Generally, the polymers are classified based on this. Classified into linear polymers, branched chain polymers, and cross-linked polymers. Linear polymers means the polymers in which the monomer units are linked to one another to form long linear chains are called linear polymers. These polymers, monomers are linked with each other and form a long straight chain. These polymer chains do not consist any side chains. A linear polymer can be schematically represented by a single line. This is what linear polymer. What are the examples of this linear polymer? High density polythene. This is the example of this linear polymer. Simply that is called what? HDP. In linear polymers, linear chains are closely packed in shape, space. Therefore, they have high densities, tensile strength, high melting and boiling point. Example, polythene, nylon, polyesters or linear polymers. Branched chain polymers. The polymers in which the monomer units are linked to form long chain with some branched chains of different length are called branched chain polymers. They have long chain. They have long chain with different branched chains molecules are irregularly packed. Just we see here. This is long, long chain molecules. This is what branch the chain molecules. As a result of these branches, these polymers are not closely packed in space. Thus, they have low densities, low tensile strength as well as low melting point and boiling point. What are the example of these low density polythenes are here? Branched chain polymers or low density polythene, starch, glycogen, etc. Next, cross linked polymers. These polymers are also called network polymers. In these polymers, the monomer units are linked together to form three dimensional network. Network polymers have trifunctional monomeric units that are formed by many interconnected polymer chains. They are giant molecules in which movement of individual monomeric units is prevented by strong cross links. It is having three active covalent bonds. It should be three dimensional network. For example, acylate, urea formaldehyde, melamine formaldehyde, etc. These are expected to be quite hard, rigid and brittle. Example of these cross-linked polymers are bakelite, glyptol, melamine formaldehyde polymer, etc. Next, classification based on nature of monomers. On the basis of nature of monomers, polymers have been broadly classified into two types. One is the homopolymers, copolymers. 
homopolymers means the monomer units are same that is called what homopolymers the polymers which are obtained by the polymerization of a single type of monomer are called homopolymer example polythene pvc nylon 6 this can be represented as follows here copolymers the polymers which are obtained by polymerization of two or more different monomers when different repeating units make up the polymer chain the polymer is called copolymer example nylon 66 terylene etc copolymers have been further classified into four types on the basis of relative arrangement of monomer units with respect to each other these are alternate copolymer alternate copolymers means the polymers comprising of alternating a and b units the order is regularly followed through the chain this can be represented as follows in block core polymers polymers comprising of regular alternating blocks a and b units the order is regularly followed through the chain this can be represented as graft copolymers means polymers in which the main chain comprises of one of the monomer and other monomer forms the branches therefore for being graft copolymer the polymer must be branched this can be represented as follows in random copolymers polymers in which no regular order of arrangement is followed by the monomer units this can be represented as this the most common type of copolymers are alternate copolymers the classifications of polymers based on mode of polymerization on the basis of polymerization process the polymers have been broadly classified into addition polymers addition polymers means when polymers when monomers are joined together there is no elimination of water there is no elimination of acid or bases or anything just in that monomer molecules having a double bond or triple bond is there it undergo polymerization what we are getting addition polymer polymers which are formed by addition reactions are called as addition polymers the polymers formed by condensation of monomers containing double bond or triple bond are called addition polymer addition polymers have the same empirical formula as their monomers example polythene teflon polyvinyl chloride etc in that addition polymers classified into cationic mechanisms and anionic mechanism and free radical mechanism here in that condensation polymers means when monomers are joined together to eliminations of this water alcohol hydrogen chloride etc are known as condensation polymers polymers which are formed by condensation reactions are called as condensation polymers the polymers which are formed by the combinations of monomers with the elimination of small molecules that is called what condensation polymers example nylon 66 nylon 6 terylene bakelite etc these are all what condensation polymers condensation polymers are mainly of three types here one polyamides polyesters and resins next classification based on intermolecular forces the elastomers fibers thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics elastomers means polymers in which intermolecular forces are very weak are called elastomers 
these are rubber like solid polymers in which the polymers chains are held together by weakest intermolecular forces example natural rubber una f una n the weak bridging weak binding forces permit the polymers to be stretched if few cross links are introduced in between the chains then the polymers retract to its original position after the force is released fibers fibers means the polymers in which intermolecular forces are very strong are called as fibers fibers belong to a class of polymers which are thread like can be woven into fabrics these are widely used for making cloths nets ropes cases etc fibers possess high tensile strength because the chains possess strong intermolecular forces such as hydrogen bonding the fibers are crystalline in nature have sharp melting point a few examples of this class what are the examples here nylon 66 terylene polyacrylo like polymers in which intermolecular forces are intermediate are called as thermoplastics these polymers are linear long chain polymers which can be softened on heating for cooling it will be hard their hardness is temporary property subjected to change with range or fall of temperature for example polythene polypropylene polyvinyl chloride and fed cpt okay from this thermo polymers here these are very weak van der waals forces acting in various states these forces are intermediate of forces present in the elastomers and in the fibers when heat and they melt and form fluid which set into hard mass on cooling thus they can be cast into different shapes by using suitable mold example polythene and polystyrene in that thermo setting polymers polymers in which there is extensive cross linking or called thermo setting thermo sets are those polymers which during molding get hardened and once they have solidified they they are permanent polymers such polymers during molding acquire three dimensional cross linked structure with a strong covalent bond the thermo setting polymers are molded cannot be reprocessed for example polystyrene bakelite epoxy resin melamine urea formaldehyde etc these are normally semi fluid substances with low molecular mass when heated they become hard and infusible due to the cross linking between the polymer state as a result they also become three dimensional in nature a few common thermo setting polymers are what here bakelite melamine formaldehyde resin and urea formaldehyde next we go to that the discuss between what are those differences between thermoplastics and thermo setting plastic these are all example thermoplastics are which are melted at high temperature solidified at low temperature they can be remelted and remolded into any desired shapes for number of times they cannot be remolded after their first use scrap can be used again scrap cannot be used again formed by addition polymerization formed by condensation polymerization bond strength is low here high molecular weight low molecular weight is high soluble in organic solvent soluble in inorganic solvents okay next prepared by injection molding method it is compression molding what is monomer monomer means it is the simplest unit or simple molecules present in that polymer 
monomers are the simple molecules which are linked to each other or to other molecules by chemical bonds from polymer thus polymers are high molecular weight compounds in which large number of simple units repeat themselves in a regular fashion this is all example of this what monomers what are the requirements of the monomer for any compound to be recognized as a true monomer it should possess at least two functions not two functional group necessary in some compounds one functional groups gives rise to only one functionality while in some compounds one functional group gives rise to two functionality for example here methanol one functional group one functionality here one functional group two functionalities okay these are two functional group and two functionalities in that type of polymerization under that here addition polymerization simply that is called what chain growing polymerization that chain growing polymerization follows the three major steps means the initiation step propagation step and termination step depending upon the nature of the reactive species involved chain growth polymerization occurs by the following mechanism free radical addition polymerization cationic polymerization and anionic polymerization in that free radical addition polymerization the monomers used for this polymerization process are generally mono substituted alkenes the most commonly used catalyst or benzoyl peroxide hydrogen peroxide or tertiary butyl peroxide etc the initiation of the polymer chain is brought about by free radicals produced by the decomposition of compounds called initiators chain growth means continuous addition of monomers in it to form polymer chain the mechanism of these reactions involving on its chain initiation step to breaking of this bond symmetrically in that chain propagation to attack or attacking in that chain termination step to form to formation of this what results okay means to formation of that polymers in ionic polymerization cationic polymerization anionic polymerization in cationic polymerization it follows three steps here initiation propagation termination in that pi bond only to formation of this positive in anionic here it is having negative okay in cationic to formation of this cations means positive charges in anionic means to formation of negative charges the both cationic and anionic it follows what initiation chain propagation and chain termination that condensation polymerization that is also called step growth polymerization monomers having same or different types of functional groups undergo condensation polymerization the polymerization proceeds by step wise reactions between reactive functional groups and molecules possess their water ammonia hcl or o h etc example for this condensation polymerization polyamides polyesters and resins polyamides means to formation of amide group here. here ammonia and carboxylic acid combines together to eliminate water molecule to formation of this nylon sixes means amide molecule in polyesters means here dimethyl terephthalate is combined with dimethyl glycol what it is to liberation of this water molecule to formation of this ester group hence the race called what polyesters molecule in resins also we consider here resins are basic binding material which are present as essential ingredient what in polymers however resins can be molded as into polymer themselves we consider phenol formaldehyde melamine formaldehyde resin urine for urea formaldehyde resin is all the example of this what resins 
These are all the distinctions between chain growth polymerization and step growth polymerization. In copolymerization, copolymerization means two different monomers joined together. It undergo polymerization that is called what? Copolymerization. In that copolymerization, here the superior, that copolymerization superior to other polymerization because it is used to alter the hardness strength, rigidity and crystallinity of the monomers. Consider bonding in polymers. The, a molecule is connected by covalent bond. Chemical reactions are required to form a break covalent bond. Weaker attractions after form between molecules encouraging them to stick together in in types of interactions present in bonding polymers, here polar interactions and hydrogen bond interactions, hydrogen bond, these are all what? Here types of interactions present in bonding polymers. Molecular weight polymers, the molecular weight of polymers is not unique like small molecules. Since polymeric mole molecular weights are in lot, it is always given as average molecular weight. The number average molecular weight. Here, this is the formula we have to calculate the average molecular weight. The ratio of sum of molecular weight of individual molecules to the total number of molecules in mixture. It is obtained by measuring the colligative property. It is a good index of physical properties such as impact and tensile strength. Consider a polymer mixture which contains N1 molecules with molecular weight M1, N2 molecules with molecular weight M2. If N1 molecules are with molecular weight M1 then this is the one. weight average molecular weight. It is the ratio of sum of molecular weight of individual molecules to the total weight of the molecules in the mixture. It is obtained by light scattering and ultra configuration technique. This is the formula we are going to calculate the weight average molecular weight. In polydispersity index, in that polydispersity index, the ratio of weight average molecular weight to number of average molecular weights is known as polydispersity index or distribution ratio. The polydispersity index is measured by using here MW by MN. This is monodispersion medium, both are equal. Here MW is equal to MN. Cohesive energy. It is the density, since polymers have negligible vapor pressure, the most convenient method of determining is to use group molecular attraction constant. These are constant derived from studies of low molecular weight compounds that lead to numerical values for various molecular grouping on the basis of intermolecular forces. Two sets of values have been suggested by one by small derived from heats of vaporization and other by a based vapor pressure In Ziegler Nutta polymerization, generally Ziegler Nutta means it is a what? It is a catalyst, it is a process of polymerization of olefins. Generally, it is used in the preparations of this HDPE molecules. Okay. Trichloro titanium, here aluminium tetrachloride molecule. This is what your Ziegler Nutta catalyst chemical compositions. The mechanism of this Ziegler Nutta catalyst. Once we have to use the Ziegler Nutta catalyst here, the ethene molecule, what we are getting here, identity polythene spot. In that polymer degradations, 
a chain n degradations or random degradation in thermal degradation a chain n degradation and random degradations is all what chain types of polymer degradation thermal degradation of polymers may follow either unzipping or the random route the unzipping mechanism gives the pure monomer while random degradations leads to the formation of this host of the product depending on the structure of the polymer since many polymers have a carbon carbon chain as the backbone their thermal stability is dependent on the stability of the carbon carbon the factors affecting carbon carbon bond stability as the number of substituents increases and the stability of the polymer's backbone bond decreases therefore polyethylene is more thermally stable and polypropylene is less stable and polyisobutylene is less stable in mechanism of this degradations a simple compound which is subjected into mechanical stress arising from high speed stirring melting but a polymer such as polystyrene dissolved in a solvent when subjected to vigorous stirring heating undergoes molecular degradation or fragmentation that photo degradations means by passing uv light radiation onto that polymers it starts degradation that is called what photo degradation photo stabilizers are the chemicals they protect polymers from deteriorating effect of light for example phenyl salicylate is known as salol is one of the stabilizer stabilizers such as 2,4 dihydroxy benzophenone 2 hydroxy 4 hydroxy these are all what used in the plastic industry the functions of photo stabilizer is to absorb uv radiation and dissipate the energy to the environment the submitted energy is transmitted back as heat or radiation of a longer wave the stabilizer act as a filler and does not allow the radiation energy to attack the polymer molecules stabilizers usually or molecules with aromatic rings have a hydroxy groups or ketonic groups in elastomeric polymers in elastomeric polymers popularly known as rubbers balloon shoes soles tires surgical gloves garden houses Uh, this is all example of this word elastomeric polymers natural rubber is the most classical example or made of elastomeric here the several synthetic elastomeric including polybutadiene styrene butadiene and acrylonitrile copolymers polyisoprene polychloroprene ethylene propene copolymer isopropene isoprene isobutylene copolymer silicon rubbers etc this is polythene It is made by addition or radical polymerization of ethyne monomers what are the properties this is transparent in thin film forming as a higher tensile strength compared to other forms polythene it is low cost polymers with good processability and as good low temperature resistance it shows temperature resistance up to 80% continuously and 95% for short of times it is it has excellent electrical resulting properties at very low water absorption it is used in the field of pipe fitting wire cables fuel tank packaging etc it is acceptable to stress cracking lower stiffness than polypropylene high molding steel case for uv and low heat resistance high frequency welding and joining impossible polypropylene molecule here propylene molecule is treated with ziegler natta polymerization in metallocene catalysis what we are getting polypropylene 
it is a linear polymer each carbon is bonded to an adjacent carbon and to hydrogen upon polymerization pp can form three basic chain structures depending on the position of methyl they are what atactic isotactic and syndactic atactic means this is a soft and rubbery and as irregular or random methyl group arrangement and it is amorphous solid lacking pattern its crystallization is difficult it is used primarily in proofy modifications and adhesive in methyl groups or one side of the carbon chain it is a strong and hard and resistant to stress cracking chemical reactions they have extremely high melting points they have semi crystalline structures they are used in productions of synthetic fibers in syndactic means it has arrangement of altering methyl groups it is not a crystalline as isotactic but a high melting point like isotactic it is softer than isotactic polymers but it is also tough and clear because it is resistant to gamma radiation it is used in medicines resistance to heat restoration excellent electrical properties chemically inert inexpect inexpensive of pure resistance capacity it is used in that tv cabinets luggage packing films sterilized bottles in polystyrene polystyrene is also known as polyvinyl benzene it is a hard brilliantly transparent stiff resin which is produced by the free radical addition polymerization of styrene the presence of benzoyl peroxide polystyrene is non biodegradable and widely used in food service industry as resin trays and diners disposable eating plates and forks what are the properties of this polystyrene polystyrene exists in an amorphous state due to the presence of bulky phenyl group which makes packing of polystyrene inefficient polystyrene is non polar having a melting point of 240 degree celsius Polystyrene is a transparent polymer having a good optical property that allows high transmissions of all wavelength. Polystyrene is hard but brittle due to chain stiffing effect of benzene ring. Polystyrene has good insulation properties. That's why it is used in making polystyrene insulation for What are the uses of this polystyrene? It is used in that throw away drinking cups, soft drinks, and baby feeding bottles. Adding color and filler, it can be used for making toys and household items. When gas is blown into polystyrene liquid, it forms and hardens to form styrofoam, which is used in making ice chats and disposable coffee cups. Polystyrene is also used for packing materials for ship shipping instruments appliances and widely used in the home insulations medically it is used for sterilizing test tubes diagnostic components and other medical devices in polyacrylonitride this is another type of polymer it is called polyvinyl cyanide molecule it is produced from acrylonitrile by the radical polymerization technique using peroxide initiate what are the properties here polyacrylonitrile is soluble in dimethyl fluoride dimethyl sulfoxide and adipomicrile resistance of heat up to around 200 and exhibits very good mechanical property it is also used to produce fan fibers the copolymers of acrylonitrile with butadiene is a material of great industrial importance next polymer is polyvinyl chloride it is obtained by heating a water emulsion of vinyl chloride in presence of small amount of benzoyl peroxide or hydrogen peroxides in autoclave under pressure 
Your PV is a colorless, odorless, non-inflammable, chemically inert powder, but soluble in chlorinate, dehydrocarbon such as ethyl chloride. It has greater stiffness and resistance. It is used for making sheets, tires, cycle, motorcycle, mud guards, uh, rayon coats, and uh, tablecloths, curtains, electrical cables. Teflon. Teflon means here CF2, CF2, it is a monomer of this word, tetrafluoroethene. It is obtained by polymerization of water emulsions of tetrafluoroethylene under pressure in the presence of benzoyl peroxide as catalyst. It is a high density material, waxy touch, it is a very low coefficient friction, good non electrical and mechanical properties, extreme. Extreme toughness, high softening point, and very viscous and opaque. Generally, it is used in that to making a gaskets, packing, pump stores, parts, tank, lining, chemical carrying pipes, asbestos fibers, cloth, non rubbering bearing, non stick, stop box. Nylon 6, Nylon 6, 6 is obtained by the polymerization of adi adipic acid with hexamethylene diamine. It is a example of this what? The addition for condensation polymers to elimination of this water molecule. It is light, horny, high melting materials. They are insoluble in common solvents. They have good strength, absorb like moistures. Drip dry in nature. They are very flexible. What are the uses? It is used for fibers, making socks, lady shoes, under garments, dress, or dress. Polyesters. Esters are condensation product of dicarboxylic acid with dihydroxy alcohol. It is also a high stretch resistance. High crease and ring resistance. It is highly resistant to minerals and organic acids. It is widely used for making synthetic fibers like terylene decron. It is a blending with wool to provide better crease and wrinkle resistance. Glass reinforcing materials in safety helmets, aircraft battery boxes, etc. In thermosetting polymers, thermosets are those polymers which during molding get hardened and once they have solidified they become permanent polymers. These polymers acquire three dimensional cross linked structures with strong covalent bonds during molding. Thus a thermosetting polymers once molded cannot be reprocessed. In polystyrene, bakelite, Epoxy resin, melamine, urea formaldehyde, these are all examples of these thermosetting polymers. In phenol formaldehyde resin, phenol formaldehyde resins are formed by the condensation between phenol and formaldehyde. The polycondensation reactions can be catalyzed either by acids or bases. The bakelite resins are usually compounded with fillers such as asbestos powder, sawdust and used for molding electrical items, telephone instruments. The resol are used for making laminates, paper fabric or asbestos cloths or with the results. Many layers of impregnated materials are pressed together in hydraulic press and heated around 50 degrees Celsius to form a single sheet for a greater thickness. In epoxide resins, epoxy polymers are basically polyethers. One type of epoxy polymers is prepared from epichlorohydrin and bisphenol. 
the reaction is carried out with excess of epichlorohydrate. The epoxy resins obtained through these reactions will be either highly viscous liquid or solids with high melting points. The epoxy resins can be further cured with substances such as amines, polysulfides and polyamides. Okay. This is all what very important concept regarding to the polymers. The questions for your self-understanding, this is all what is polymer, degree of polymerization, classifications of polymerization, source of polymer, source of polymers, origins. Okay. Write a note on this cationic, anionic polymerization, copolymerization, rubber, Ziegler-Nata reactions, uh, biodegradable polymerization, etc. These are all very important in your examinations. Thank you.